Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can use tab navigation in React Native and uh, stack navigation is already completed in the last part. So here we are not going to use any code from last part. We will write all code from scratch in this video, right? And uh, we can start with the points. So first of all, we have to install the npm package for tab navigation. After that, we will create two components so that we can just convert these component to the screens. For example, we will create uh, two components like login component and sign up component or maybe profile and uh, home page and all, all right? After that, we will uh, make the tab navigation wrapper around the components and uh, then we will test that everything is working fine or not. Even this is not a last video on the tab navigation, we will uh, create some more videos with tab navigation like how we can add fonts or uh, uh, tab top navigation, tab material navigation and all. So uh, now we can uh, just open the official website of uh, React navigation because I just wanted to show you how uh, the steps are given in the official documentation. So firstly, I will just uh, install the normal navigation, right? Because uh, as I mentioned you, we will learn everything from scratch. So initially you have to install the React native navigation. If this is already installed in your system, then you don't need to worry about this. Let's just install this navigation. After that, we have to install its dependency. And guys, if you are using Expo, uh, then you have to use this command otherwise you can uh, directly again use this npm command or yarn command to add the uh, react native screen and save area context dependencies uh, don't worry we are not going to just copy and paste all codes we are just uh, copy and pasting the uh, things which we have to install all right so that there will be no chance to uh, spell and typo mistake and all so after that, uh, you can just directly jump over the guide there, right? And there you will find an option for tab navigation. Let's just click over there. And add, as I mentioned, there is a lots of uh, subcategories in the tab navigation, which is a uh, bottom tab navigator, material tab uh, navigator, top tab navigator. And here we will uh, simply use uh, bottom tabs, right? So we will just uh, install this and after that we will uh, go go on through in the with the other options also in the upcoming video so let me just copy this command again and let's paste it there and after you will uh, just run these three installation command you have to create your react native build again all right and guys in if inside the react native build if you will get any kind of uh, 500 error or file not found error then you can run this command also npm start minus minus clean uh, minus cache or you can see that hyphen hyphen clean hyphen cache after that let's simply put there one more command which is npx react native run android so it, it could take some time depend on your system configuration and your internet configuration so let's wait for a moment for that Perfect. So build is successfully done. Now we can just open our code. So this is our app.js file. Here we will create uh, some code for navigation as well as we will create two components also so that we can use these components as a screen. And this is our emulator for output. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I am importing the React Native, uh, React Navigation Native for navigation containers. So let's import there. Import something from react native navigation right and let's import their navigation container right and with that you can also import uh, create tab navigation create tab bottom navigation also right so let's import something from at the rate react bottom tabs and uh, there let's simply create import create bottom tab navigator and you can create an instance of that uh, bottom tab navigator and you can put any name i just like to put their tab because this is a tab navigation keep in mind it should be outside that your component not inside that all right after that um, we don't need this text box simply just use their 
navigation container and let me just use it as a tag after that we have to use a tab dot uh, navigator right navigator mm -hmm. yep and last one we have to use tab dot screen i don't know why this is not uh, okay the reason being this is not just showing the autocomplete because we have to use this as a function so let me check either we have imported that proper thing or not navigator perfect and screens perfect and now we need two components so that we can use them as a screen so let me just create a login component i will add a bit style with these component also but firstly i will just check the output after that i will add text right so i will add style so just let me put their view close this view we can add some text also let's say login and to just making it quick i am copy and paste it with sign up and there we can just simply say that sign up okay now mm, let's uh, just assign these components to the screen so let's put name you can put the name let's say login and the component for login screen could be uh, login right and let's save it and i'm sure there should be some output here you can see that with with the one bottom tab so let me just copy and paste it and let me change uh, sign up with sign up component and yeah we have to close it also we don't need to just i think now it should work fine yeah and let me just uh, show you the tabbing so you can see that this is a sign up and this is a login screen because the text is a bit slower than i am just zooming the screen and here you can see that there is a tab but with the tab you can see that there is a no icon and there is a just a box actually we have to add some icons there but that thing we will learn in the next part uh, in this part we just want to just toggle these screens and see that how navigation work and in upcoming part we'll add some navigation colorful things and style and all right so let me add some style to these uh, screens also uh, login screen and uh, sign up screen so we can use flex one justified content could be center after that uh, align items again could be center and uh, last but not least let's add some font size to the text font size could be 30 let's copy and paste this with the sign up component let's again change this uh, sign up component text right so here you can see that this is login and sign up working perfectly so if you still have any query any confusion please uh, let me know in the comment section as i told you this is not the last part for tab navigation we will learn more things here you can see that there is a uh, more options with the add badges to icon and everything we will learn in the upcoming videos right so thank you so much for watching this video please like this video subscribe my channel put comments your feedback in comment section and this is my paytm number for donation thank you guys